Let's say now you have a patient in your office who has an elevated result, meaning they're positive. They have a diagnosis of IBSD or mix based on these antibody testing. The, the challenge is, does it predict or mean that you should treat a patient a specific way? We don't have that connection at the moment. What we do know is that by getting and identifying a patient as IBS within two or three days as these antibodies can for your practice, that it will allow you to then progress to the treatment of that patient. But it's important to, to look at it in a different way. The patient now has a firm, organic basis to rest their diagnosis on. Secondly, we now know that food poisoning may be a culprit in their case. And the third is counseling that patient about food poisoning and for prevention of food poisoning when they travel or just their general eating behaviors in and around town. And so it's important that the patient is aware of these antibodies as it's possible they can elevate further with another food poisoning episode. So that's how you use the antibodies. It doesn't predict which drug to use at the moment. It simply gets you to the identification of the patient, saves money for the patient in the sense of testing, and also gets you to a conclusive diagnosis faster.